one of the things I want to stress to you guys is grinder pumps are not trash pumps. Okay? You will get that call from the guy who says, hey, I've got this application. It's a, a dewatering application in a parking garage, but they get all the, the, the garbage from the, the, that, flow, that goes down the, 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 the storm drain, flows into this pit. So we get tin cans, we get, we get foliage, we get whatever's on the ground, we get wrappers, all kinds of stuff. And they'll say, we want to use a grinder pump for that. That is not what a grinder pump is designed to do. Grinder pumps generally get abused. You know, we talked about it's not a trash pump, it's not this, it's not that. Guess what everybody uses it for? A trash pump or this or that. But generally speaking, this is the pump that if somebody's going to put it in somewhere it's probably not supposed to be, that's the one. These pumps work great in those applications. And I just can't, I can't stress enough how easily they work and how well. Now, we talked a little bit about low pressure sewer systems. And the main idea of a grinder pump is because it generates higher head pressure, we can actually use a smaller diameter pipe. Why can we use a smaller diameter pipe? Because it's gonna grind everything up into very small pieces. And when I say small pieces, I'm talking very finite pieces of, of material. So it's gonna grind it all up so I don't need these great big pipes to pass the whole solid and everything down. All I need is this small diameter pipe now. Okay, and that goes back to what makes low pressure sewer systems a little more uh, appealing to the builder and things like that because it's less money for them to install. That's where grinder pumps came from. Grinder pumps came out of the 60s. Um, group of engineers from General Electric actually got together, formed a company making the world's first grinder pump. Uh, they based that pump, that original pump was based off of a garbage disposal. That was the idea. That's what they based the grinding idea off of. And the whole point of this was to take this pump, put it in a system, be able to pump it down the road again, smaller diameter, getting away from septic, things like that. We're using a sewer, you know, we still want to be on the city sewer system. People didn't want to use septic anymore because septic tanks do fail. Septic systems fail. There, there's a lot of maintenance involved in a septic system. So now I have the access, I can actually put a grinder pump in. It will take care of that, that for me. You can use a sewage pump to pump water, but you can't use a dewatering pump to pump sewage. Same thing with a grinder pump. You can actually put a grinder pump in a sewage application to, that pumps into a gravity sewer. Sometimes you'll see that because it's just a longer run. Maybe you're pumping uphill incredibly long way. You might be pumping to a gravity sewer. Most grinder pumps do at least 100 feet ahead. Uh, we're gonna get into certain grinder pumps that do 260 feet ahead. So they, they do a lot of, of head pressure. So that's, that's where a grinder pump comes into play. Most grinder pumps are operating at 3,600 RPM, so they, they're running faster. That allows for that torque for the cutting. So the cutter itself, which is the, the actual blade, is spinning at 3,600 RPMs. That's gonna cut, but you're also using that plate. If you look at that plate real close, it's similar to a uh, kind of a cheese grater so to speak, I guess would be a good, good analogy. So the smaller hole openings that are on there, so not only is it cutting with that blade, but that's where the actual grinding comes in is those small holes. They act almost like a cheese grater. So if anything gets on that, it's actually gonna cut it as well. Everything passes through those smaller openings. That's why the head pressure is way up on a grinder pump. It's not as free flowing through. You're pressurizing because you're forcing everything through those small openings. That's where the head pressure comes into play.